are there, today I'm going to show you how to use my whiteboard for the ViewSonic. We'll start by going over the app that's on the monitor, but later I'll actually show you how you can create your own lessons from scratch that you can use with this app and also the app on your computer. To start, you will tap the cloud and sign in with Google if you want to access Drive. Now I have just one slide. I'm going to click this blue slide with a plus, and now I have two. So if I draw something here, then if I tap the two, you'll see the difference. So I have both my slides, I can rearrange them, I can delete them. If this was in my way, I can use this cross, and I can actually move it over, just like that. I could also take a screenshot by using this kind of shutter button down here. So now my screenshot is saved and I can actually use it in my canvas. So I can move it around. If I tap on it, you won't use all these options, but some that might be useful are the trash can to uh, delete it, the lock. Well, the lock is similar to the one in Seesaw, where if you want a piece to be just static and not have the kids move it around, you would use the lock to lock it in place and you could unlock it later, of course. There's copy, there's cut, and there's also crop as well. I can rotate it, I can change the size, just like this. The next button that we'll be looking at is actually the hand. So this entire screen is what we call an infinite canvas. What that means is that technically this canvas expands way far up, down, to the right and left. So if I tap on the hand, I can actually move where I am on the canvas. And if I double tap it like that, you can see that I'm just down here and there's way more space. There's also this teal mouse right here that looks like it's moving something. This works great if you want to lasso a specific object to move it. So say I wanted to move just one of these eyes, I can draw a circle around it and I can select just that part and move it around. Also, another option that we didn't see before is the color option. So if I decided I wanted this to be a different color, I could do that as well. So yes, there is an eraser button as well, but if you just real quick want to get rid of something, even better is you can use the palm of your hand or the side of your hand and actually erase like this. So now we'll look at the marker. If I tap it once, you can just see some of these basic colors, but if I actually double tap it like that, you can see I have a much larger selection. I can also hit the plus if I want something very specific, like this. And then I can just tap away and the marker will be this color now. The eraser tool is just pretty basic. You can also hit the trash can to just clear all. This next button is shapes. Down here are my different choices for shapes. These are two dimensional shapes. If I tap the cube, I get three dimensional shapes. Here I can get some really cool choices for arrows and doing maybe coordinates if I wanted to try that with the kids. You can also build a table like this. Down here, the T is going to be for text. So I can tap on it and I can choose a spot on the board to start typing. There's also the undo and redo buttons if you make a mistake. And then the two that I've skipped over down here, these are going to be for saving. So this file folder, I can actually open a document. So since I'm signed into Google Drive, I can use this button and I could pull it to my Google Drive or if I've saved something to the ViewSonic, I can also choose from these folders. The ViewSonic itself has its own storage, so you could save projects to this device specifically. I could also plug in a flash drive down here, and that would also allow me to save things to the flash drive. All right, last but not least is the magic box. It's the box with all these blue objects in it. If I tap on it, you get some of the same options where I can pull something from my Google Drive and I can pull something from the device if I saved it to this ViewSonic. 
You also have a sticky note up here. I can move it around with this tool, like this. If I go back to the magic box, there's also this button. It looks like a pencil with some rulers. So I can choose some different rulers, protractors, etc., which would be perfect for math. There's also this button, which sort of looks like Chrome. This is a built-in browser. So if I want to real quick pull up a website for the kids, I could do that. I tap down here and I can use the image search. So if I want to show the kids a specific example of the sun, for instance, choose a picture and I double tap. 